Hey YouTube, back with uh, another pickups video. Um, it's been two weeks since I've done the last one. Uh, the boot sales have been off around here because of the rain. Um, but they're back on Sunday, just gone, and uh, so I went and managed to find a few bits and pieces. Um, I'll start off with something which uh, I bought off of eBay, and um, it's a Scott lead for the uh, for the Mega Drive. So that was uh, brand new from uh, re retro game cables on eBay. Uh, it was eight pound forty nine delivered, um, and I, had a, I used it last night, and it's um, it's excellent. So um, that was the first that was the first buy, and then um, this was actually a gift. And uh, I've been playing my uh, DS quite a lot recently, and I was chatting to a friend, and he mentioned about an R4 card, and um, I've never heard of an R4 card before. Uh, you guys probably have, but I've never heard of an R4 card, and so um, he just said to me, "Give me a list of all the games that you want, and uh, I'll whack it on the micro SD card in, in the R4 card." And, Away you go. So um, he sent that one to me, and um, oops, okay, one hand to get the thing out. And um, yeah, so these, these are the the games that I got on here. Can you see? Crappy phone. Um, there we go. Call of Duty, Castlevania. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown, uh, Lego Indiana Jones 2, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, Metal Slug, fantastic, Namco Museum, Track and Field, Super Mario Brothers, Professor Layton, Resident Evil Deadly Silence, which is excellent, and World Ends With You, which is weird as hell. And it's just you play this young lad who's in the city and he runs around. Um, all gloomy and hates everyone and the sort of story progresses and he keeps intermittently get attacked by frogs and toads and shit it's really strange fucking weird but um yeah so uh, I, this thing is fantastic you know he said just give me a larger uh, SD card and he's got a couple of hundred games so I'm just gonna get the works and I won't you know I'm not worried about actually owning um the actual um, games physically for this, you know, I'm really, really happy just to have them on this card. It's so convenient when I'm going up to town to go to work. I can just turn this on and I've got all the games at hand. It's fantastic. So, um, oh, so this is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Focus. Yeah, what this, this is all about. <laughs> anyway, it's great. So, yeah, that was my item of the week. And it's absolutely fantastic. I love I love the R four card. So um yeah, I just have to get a larger S D card and a way I go. Absolutely fantastic, so um okay, so that's those out of the way and um I've been trying to do uh some pickups um, sort of videos in the wild. You know, I've been trying for a couple of months, on and off. And first of all, I started using this little spy button, and <laughs> just put it in your pocket and uh, through the hole to your button. And um, it's not bad. It wasn't bad, but you had no control over, you know, what was being f filmed really. <laughs> Only roughly. Um, you know, recently I picked up a nice lot of Mega Drive stuff at a boot sale, and so I was using this. 
um, to try and film and unfortunately it was pointing down at the person's crotch so I didn't really want to use the footage I was just like I was talking to them trying to work out a deal and it was just pointing down all the time so yeah it was only nine quid but it's a good little thing but it was you know maybe another time so I bought a pair of gla uh, glasses which I've seen you know quite a lot of people use and there's quite a few different models out there and I was sort of waiting, and unfortunately I waited too long because the price went up by about 20 quid. So I think they've started, you know, it started to become a bit more popular. But, um, oops. Yeah, I, when I first started watching YouTube, um, the game sort of collector videos, and you know, the ones, you know, I was watching um, the Game Hunter in America, which I'm sure you guys have subscribed to. Unfortunately, he's not doing vids at the moment. I don't know why. I think he's he's he got hacked or something, I don't know, but he's, he's, he's the best, the guy's a, a legend, he's so, not rude, he's just really uh, abrupt and, um, you know, I think he gets a lot, of, a lot of hassle because, you know, he's buying a lot of stuff to sell it, but he's actually, a, you know, he loves the games, you can tell. Uh, also, the uh, Game Gavel and uh, Retro Hungry um, is really good, and then, um, like here in the UK, I've just seen uh, Rich King Retro and um, Cube Meister General having a, having a bash at it and doing a really you know really good job of doing the live pickups. Which you know I'm seeing the stuff. That's what it's all about for me. You know, to the the moment of finding something. So if you can capture that on video and put it on YouTube, that's that's fantastic. It's the you know for other people to see where that stuff has come from. You know, it's interesting. But um so I'm gonna persevere with the uh pickups in the wild and uh the boot sales and try and get some decent footage. You know, I used the glasses this weekend and um you know it recorded some and it was okay, the sounds great but um you know I it wasn't really anything you know, I had one excellent pickup and I thought it was recording, which I'll show you later, and it wasn't, which was, I was gutted, but anyway, so maybe in the future some live footage. Um, so I'm, I went to three boot sales at the weekend. One was the early start, um, which was six o'clock. Oh, I got down there about half past six after I had some coffee, and um, it was really slim pickings. It was really slim pickings, you know. I was knocking back a lot of PS2 stuff because I, you know, I, you, you know, anyone can go there and buy a, a shitload of PS2 stuff, and you know, I'm not going for a full collection of PS2, so I'm not going to be picking up every bloody PS2 game that's going. You know, I'm just going to pick up stuff which, which I like. Um, but um, yeah, I think got a sort of a few mixture I'm not gonna sort of individually I'll just show you what I got and um I think I can remember how much I paid for each one but so uh I've got on the Xbox three sixty uh Rise of the Silver Surfer, that was a pound. Um Half Life, which I've never played but I've heard really good things about this. So um I'm looking forward to giving that a, giving that a blast. Oops. Uh, it's complete and uh, I think yeah, that was a pound. Um, Naruto Ultimate Ninja, that was 50p. Um, never seen, never even seen this one before. So that was my main thing for getting it, because it looks like a, a good fighting game. So, got that. Um, Power Rangers Dino Thunder, looks like good fun. Uh, looks like a dog's been chewing on that. That was 50p. Um, Garfield, 50p. Jaws Unleashed, that was complete as well. That was £1. Um, Destroy All Humans, I've never played this. And I've seen a couple of you guys pick it up over the past couple of weeks. And, um, you know, I saw it at 50p. And I'm going to give it a go. It looks quite quite fun. Um, and um, Virtua Fighter 4. And then this was my PS2 pickup of, of the week. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up. And um, 
It looks really cool. I don't know, I've been playing the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game on the PS2 and uh, it's really, really good. I've been really enjoying it. So when I saw this for a quid, uh, I'm going to give it a crack. And it's quite a late one, I think it was released in 2009. So, um, but yeah. yeah, that's that's really cool. I don't see that. Don't see that all the time. So, oops, that's those. Um, and then still at the first car boot sale I went to, um, there was a guy who had various consoles and um, they were all like two pound. So um, I went through what he had and um, blast from the past. I got Sega Rally for the PS3, which I'm really looking forward to um, having a go of. Cool. And then um, I only got this because I don't have any football games and. Um, uh, this is more of a skill sort of thing, and uh, it looks quite good. So, um, and it was, and it's 2012, so it's quite a new one. So um, I got that as well. And SSX on the 360. Um, I've played 1080 on the GameCube, and I loved it. So I'm, I'm assuming that this is. Um, going to be a step up with you know really good looking graphics so give that one a crack as well um, F1 2011 um, I haven't ever played a, uh, a Formula 1 game so um, you know, again the graphics look amazing and um, you know I'm looking forward to giving that a blast and then um, for the original Xbox, Dead or Alive 3, it's really heavy, I think the manual is massive. It's got a big chunky manual and other stuff in there. There was that. And then lastly, off the same guy, it was this, which is another PS2 one, but Tenchu, Wrath of Heaven. Um, I last on my last video I bought Tenchu on the PS1 and you know I said oh, I bought it originally when it came out in the early 90s and I actually loved it, totally groundbreaking game um, and when I saw this I just thought well oh, great I didn't even realise that they'd made a version on the PS2 so uh, you know it looks it looks really good um, so I'm, this is another one that's going on the pile waiting to be played um, and it's absolutely mint the disc is Perfect, absolutely perfect. So, and so he wanted two pound each, and we got one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Offered him eight pound. He had it, so that was great. So, um, you know, about one pound thirty a game. So um, that's really cool. And then the last thing I got the first boot sale was some original Game Boy, uh, original Game Boy games, and um, yeah, I don't really see that these that often. And um, if they are, if I do, the titles are pretty shit. So, um, whoa, yeah, come on, focus. Bloody camera, shit, phone, uh, Lemmings. Lemmings, short card, and that was off of one person. And then um, I got Star Wars, uh, Super RC, Desert Strike, and uh, a five in one cart. So I got those four. And then at the bottom of the box, he had this, which was a, a Tiger Street Ninja handheld. And um, I haven't been out to test it because I think it needs a new battery, but um, you know those games and that I got for three quid. So, um, but I don't know if anyone's interested in this. Um, PM me or leave a message uh, below. Um, you know I haven't been out to test it, but if anyone's interested in you know and they collect you you collect these, then just give me a shout and you know you can you can have it before I pay for it and some put in postage. Um, but you know, um, I think it's from 1996. This one, 1996, licensed by Hasbro. Uh, but anyway, so.
So um, that was a good little, good little find. Whoops. So um, yeah, I was walking around at the first boot sale, and the time was getting on. Um, and there's quite a lot of boot sales around where I live. Um, and there's some which are really normally poor. You know, they have. You know, the main one I go to normally has three. 300 to 400 sellers, it's fucking massive. And then it goes down to there's one down the road, and it normally has about 30 sellers. But sometimes people don't, buyers don't go to the little one so much, so there's a good chance to find some stuff. So I was walking around this bloody huge one, and I was well, it wasn't that massive on the Sunday because of the, the dodgy weather. And so you know, I walked around, and I've done one sort of swing around the whole thing, and I just thought. You know, I did a couple more rows again, like going back, and then I thought I'm just going to leave because I'm going to see the same shit. I'm going to go and just go to some other ones. So I left, and I travelled down the road to um, another smaller boot sale, and um, I'm glad I did. There was um, there was a, a guy and his girlfriend, and there was loads of people. They had about ten people around his stall. You know, and it seemed like the whole, all of the cut, all of the, the people who were walking around the boot sale were actually at this stall. So I went over, and um, he had some games on the floor, and um, so I sort of picked a couple up, and you know, the, I asked how much they were, and he said I was five of each. So, um, so I just sort of, you know, I will pick a few up, see if I can do a deal, and um, so I got. Ace Attorney on the DS. That's complete with the points. And then I've got Chrono Trigger, which is like an RPG thing, and that is that's complete as well. You know, I've never played this, but I've heard of it before, and uh, it's sort of well regarded. So. And it's Square Enix. That one's yeah, Capcom. And then um, I had some PS3 games, so I picked up this one as well. Uh, Red Alert, Command and Conquer Red Alert 3 Ultimate Edition. And um, it's absolutely like brand new. It's absolutely like brand new. Um, yeah. That one, and then my favourite one out of the ones that I bought from this person is this, and I've never played. Well, I've, I've never played this, and it looks brilliant. I n never really thought about getting it, and then when I saw it, I thought, "Oh, that, yeah, it looks." And it, it looks brilliant. It looks so involved. Obviously, it's a rock star game. It looks so involved. So many different to do it, different things to do in it, and just having the the Wild West sort of spin on it just makes it different from all the other repetitive nonsense that's out there. So um this you know, when I finish this video I'm gonna have my first blast on this. But it looks amazing and um yeah. It looks pretty gruesome as well. You know it's an eighteen as well so but so um you know some really good games from this person but she wanted a fight or they wanted it a five or each, and I said to the guy, you know, what's the best deal you can do? And he sort of didn't really. So he was like, mm, before he said anything, I just said, you take twelve quid, and he was like, yeah, that's fine. So I paid him twelve quid for four games, so three, six, nine, twelve works out three pounds each, which is which is awesome. So um, two DS games from from the stack, and um, two. Really good PS3 games to uh, to get played as well. So, um, and the only other thing I got at the, that boot sale, the second boot sale I went to in the morning, was um, a PSP game, which was uh, The Simpsons, and um, it's mint, really really good. And it looks a really good game as well. Um, so. The lady had it for two quid, and I offered her a pound. She said, "Oh, 150." So I gave her 150. Um, I was in CEX the other day, and you know they they sell this for eight quid. I was thinking, oh, bloody rip off they are, really are. Um, 
Yeah, so that was going in. I haven't got a PSP yet. I've been looking. I missed one the other day at the boot sale for a tenner box, which pissed me off. And when I was in CEX, a guy came in with two boxes to sell. And I was thinking, oh, God, should I just hang around on the doorstep and just ask everyone who's about to go in there if they're selling any stuff? And I'll give them more than fucking CEX will. That's a plan, isn't it? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm looking, I'll be getting a PSP soon. You know, there's no rush. But I'm just sort of building up a, a collection of the good games um, as I go along. So, that was the second boot sale. So, the third boot sale I went to is another 10 minutes down the road, and I've been going there for years. I've never really had that much luck, you know, whether it was games or whether it was records, which I collect as well. But I've been going there for a long time, and uh, I normally get there at 10. And so, I thought, fuck it. I'm going to get there early, and I'm, I normally park there, it's right by a dual carriageway, and um, I normally park on the other side of the dual carriageway, on a little side road, and then just jump, like, just nip across the dual carriageway, you know, I'm only, I'm not old, I can, I've still got <laughs> a bit of spring in my step, so I can just sort of, across, and uh, it's easy then, you don't get stuck in the massive traffic out of the car park, you don't get stuck in the traffic down the dual carriage, one, you know, down the dual carriageway, because you have to go all the way down to the end to the lights, which is about half a mile, and there's no turnings off on that side of the road, and, um, but I thought, oh, I would just get there really early, and then I can be in and be out before all the hassle, so, um, you know, um, so I got there, you know, I normally get there at 10, I ended up getting there at about quarter past nine. So I went in there, you know, and I said to the guy, I said, what time, you know, do you let all the buyers in? And he said, well, it's supposed to be half nine, but if you get here about nine, we'll let you in. I was like, okay, result. So I walked in to the boot sale, and, um, you know, half of it was already set up still. So who knows what time, you know, I should be getting there at half eight or quarter to nine. But, so our first row, the newest row that was already set up, so I just started walking along straight away, straight away, I see a GameCube, and I was wearing my glasses, thinking I was recording, and, you know, it turned out when I got home, it recorded loads of other stuff, but it didn't record this, which pissed me off, but, um, so I was thinking it was recording, and it was just such a great scenario. Uh, I was walking up to a table and I see a GameCube and um, there was a guy looking at it, he opened up the lid to see if there was a game and then closed it down and then uh, closed it down and just walked off so I went over to the lady, had a look at the GameCube and um, I said, oh have you got any games? and um, she said, oh I've and she sort of asked her friend, she said, oh, did we bring that bag of games? And straight away I was thinking, bag of games. Um, and they were like, I don't know, I can't remember. So she was hunting around for about two or three minutes, and then and I was thinking, oh, please, you know, fine. And then she was like, oh, here they are. And it was like a medium-sized bag, and it was like fantastic. So, um... She pulled the bag up, and I got my first glimpse of, uh, of it. So, just while I grabbed the game, so that's it. God, Ooh, made a bit, me a bit of a me like that. But um, so yeah, she found the games, and um, a couple of them sprung out. You know, I see straight away. It's like fucking sweet. But I'll just go through what one she had there, which I don't have. <laughs> um, it was Some of All Fears, Crazy Taxi, and these are all complete and uh, the discs are in excellent condition as well. Um, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, um, Minority Report. I've got this one, so if anyone wants anyone needs it for the GameCube collection and wants to do a trade, that's up for grabs. 
007 Nightfire, that's up for trade as well, because I've already got that one. Um, Agent Under Fire, I've already got that one, so that's up for trade. Um, Medal of Honor Frontline. I think I... I think I've got that one. I'm not sure. If you're interested in it, send me a message and I'll be able to let you know. Uh, I'll be able to say for definite. I can't see from here. I can't remember if I've got that one or not. For the GameCube, anyway. Um, everything or Nothing 007, I've got that, so that, that's up for grabs. Um, and uh, Driven, which... Um, I think it's an appalling game. I gave it a blast. I've already got it, but if you know if you if if you want to trade, <laughs> it's up for grabs as well. Okay, um, so there was a few which I'd already got, and then the best ones: um, Sonic Adventure Battle 2, which is great, which I don't have. All in fantastic condition. And then the first of the premium was uh, Luigi's Mansion. And I've been looking forward to playing this for so long. I've been so tempted just to go on eBay and pay 20 quid or whatever the hell. But I'm glad I didn't. And I held out. So I got Luigi's Mansion, which is fantastic. And I love it. The attention to detail is brilliant on these. The, um, the way the disc is... Sort of glowing, it's like got that glow in the dark stuff on it. It's fantastic, brilliant, brilliant artwork. Um, so when I saw this, I was just like, Yes, fantastic, thank you very much. And um, and then next, you know, almost for me, almost as good was um, Zelda Wind Waker. Um, this was the one I saw first, <laughs> it's just like, Get in there, just. And um, but it's sort of half cool because it's the limited edition two game bonus disc version. But unfortunately, it's missing the flappy bonus bit with the bonus disc on it, which is a bummer. But um, never mind. So I've got the main disc, and it's absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, a couple of these cases could probably do with being replaced. This one ain't so bad. I think Luigi's Mansion could do with it being... I could replace the case because it looks a bit shitty. But that is spanking. So, um, yeah, so happy. And then another one that I was really looking forward to playing was um, Star Wars Rogue Leader. And, uh, oops. Yeah, that one's mint as well. It is absolutely mint. Uh, and one more is which I haven't actually seen about um, Hitman 2 and um, so another great one so I've got, you know, I've got a few good titles in there to add to my collection there's quite a few for trade um, so yeah so I sort of look through the games not for too long because you know, time is of the essence at the boot sales and um, Oh, anyway, basically I said to her, how much are the games? And she said, oh, how many are there? It's 14. She said, a tenner. I said, okay, will you let me chuck in a controller as well? Because I could do with another controller. She said, oh, I can't. I'll tell you what, just give me 13 quid for the lot. So, this is the game. This is the GameCube. Two pads, power, and all that shit. And all these games, 13 quid. But then, actually, what I didn't even notice... I was walking around and uh, one of my uh, a game collector that I know at the boot sale, he's, he said, oh, you bought a GameCube? I was like, yeah. Um, he said, it's got two memory cards in it as well. And I didn't realise, and it has. It's even got two memory cards in it, which is fantastic. You know, I paid, a couple of weeks ago, I paid a fiver at a game shop for just one. They're only 59 block, which isn't great, but, you know, still a great little bonus, two, um, two memory cards. So, you know, all in all, fantastic but you know that would have been the perfect scenario to record to show on YouTube you know someone was looking at the GameCube and they left I went up to it asked it's like oh yeah we should have a bag somewhere you know they did have them they didn't have them then they did and then you know opening the bag up and seeing Zelda on the top which is like 
oh, and then I got home and looked at the footage and it didn't record so gutted uh, I don't know I'll keep trying um, okay so I don't want to go on for too long um, and then so at that same boot sale a couple more things I got um, Wii for the Wii Toy Story Mania um, and that was £1.50 and I've been really enjoying Indiana Jones well I completed the DS version and it's pretty easy um, but I saw this and they only wanted a quid so I bought it on um, the PS3 and then from the same person well actually I paid four quid for these two so you could say two quid each you wanted three for this and a pound for that but it was you know, two pound each is fine um, yeah Prince of Persia I've been playing as you can see um, Prince of Persia on the GameCube and I love it it's really really good you know? really really good game really good game so you know I saw this for the PS3 and it's a metal, metal box oh my god it's a metal box edition and the disc is actually in my PS3 that's why it's not in there but um, you know I've been loving the GameCube uh, Prince of Persia Sands of Time it's really really good so you know, I, gave, I had a first blast of this earlier on and the graphics are pretty good but I don't know I'm preferring the GameCube version to be honest I don't know what you guys think but you know even on first you know just first play so far I'm, all, I'm still preferring that which just goes to show that it's not all about graphics and you know it's how the game plays but you know I haven't given this a fair crack I'll, I'll be playing this a bit more so yeah there's that and then a couple more things, nothing that exciting. Uh, Wild Horses on the DS. I just got that because it was cheap. Um, just wanted to add to the DS collection. And then um, on the original Xbox, uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. So yeah, not too bad. Oh, and this, I don't know, I know there's some Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon nutters out there who love, love all this stuff. So um, guys, up you know, I bought, saw this, and I paid a quid for it. Um, it's like three battle golden battle coins. So um, you know, if any of you guys are in, into Pokemon, and uh, you you want this, you know, it was only a quid. So if you if you if you want this and you want it for a quid and postage, or you want to, I don't know, you trade something for it, you know, nothing nothing crazy, just to. You know, um, then PM me, send me a message. You know, no problem. You know, a pound and a pound and probably a pound postage. Um, but I couldn't really leave it there. Shiny. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that for this week. Um, as I say, I'm going to try hard to get some decent footage. You know, I'm, I've got a, you know, editing isn't. I try and do these all in one hit, like a lot of people do, and you know, editing isn't. It's something that I've really done, but you know I really want to do the uh, a bit of live footage. So uh, hopefully, you know, soon I'll be able to get find some good things that with some worthy footage. Um, so yeah, um, please uh, like and please just press the button and subscribe if you haven't. You know I haven't got loads of um, subscribers, but you know I enjoy doing the videos and I really enjoy. You know, finding finding the stuff. So um, yeah, hopefully I'll have a video a bit earlier next week. Um, um, it's payday tomorrow from my work, so this weekend I'm gonna fucking blitz the booty. Hopefully anyway. So uh, okay, cheers guys. <laughs>